Hey everybody, it's Marcia, and I'm back today with a um, scrapbook process video for my creative scrapbook. So today I'm using the main kit, and this kit features the Let's Wander collection from Vicki Booten. And I absolutely love this collection. I had so much fun with this kit. Um, you saw me there with the pre-made mixed media pad that she has. Now the mixed media pad was not part of the kit, but instead of using white cardstock, I pulled out this um, greenish blue um, mixed media sheet and I'm using it on my layout um, instead of like white cardstock for a background. Um, these mixed media sheets are awesome. They uh, save you so much time. Uh, you don't have to get messy. You don't have to, you know, like even purchase the art crayons or watercolors or whatever. You could just get this mixed media pad and and go and get this awesome look on your layouts. So I am fussy cutting some of the flowers from that pattern paper that you saw me with just there and I'm arranging them around my photos. I have two photos here. These are from a vacation to Hawaii that my husband and I took probably like five years ago now and yeah I still have uh, photos I have in scrapbook from here. So we were on Oahu and these were taken at the Polynesian Cultural Center. I highly recommend this place if you want to see um, any of the Polynesian culture. Uh, and they have luau's and uh, the pictures here were from a boat. They have a boat parade and uh, all the different Polynesian cultures were represented and it was just I took so many photos. Unbelievable. It was gorgeous. So once I had um, fussy cut out some of these flowers, then um, I started playing around with the die cut F mirror pieces. So I found this Paradise Found, almost like a Polaroid picture here, that I thought would be perfect to stick up here. Um, in the upper right uh, along with one of the fussy cut flowers and I wanted to do a little bit of a location thing here on this Polaroid. So there were these um, die cut ephemera leaves too and I thought these would be perfect to go along the side of my photo here. So it, it kind of hides the edge of the mixed media um, sheet with uh, my background paper that I chose. Um, I'm putting some foam adhesive and some recycled chipboard on the back of my photos to give them some stability and dimension on my layout. Uh, I like my photos to stand up a little bit more against the background so I can tuck all these cool things underneath. So one of the um, things I'm tucking underneath here are, uh, they look like stamps. They're one of the die cut F mirror pieces and they have, uh, it, it looks like post-it stamps really. And, and they're beautiful tropical vacation um, mode uh, stamps. So they're really cool. Um, I am starting to glue down some stuff now. So this uh, fussy cut flower that I did here is, is kind of delicate with the leaves um, that I fussy cut out as well, those little tiny leaves. Uh, the fussy cutting did take some time, but you know, you can fussy cut things when you're like binge watching, you know, some TV show or or really you only need to listen then and you can concentrate on what you're doing. Um, I like to listen to audiobooks a lot of times when I'm scrapbooking so I can keep up with my book club. But um, yeah, 
So I have a lot of the die cut pieces I like on here now. And I'm going back and I'm looking at the sticker sheets now because this kit came with um, the chipboard stickers as well as uh, the flatter um, cardstock stickers. And so I'm looking to see what I can include here on that. I thought I would have to kind of hide the edge of that yellow flower underneath my photo because it was cut from a corner and so it ha it's not a complete flower and I thought part of it might show so I wanted to find another little tiny flower that I could stick over the edge and hide that um, So then I, once I had um, my flowers and uh, some stickers down on here, uh, I had to start thinking about a title and what I would use for a title. Now this kit came with some creative embellishment chipboard titles and so I pulled um, one of those out. This one is Escape. So I was kind of thinking Island Escape, but there are so many title options. There's some um, die cut ephemera titles, and there are titles on the sticker sheets. Um, lots of options, um, but there were no alphas that were included in this kit. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, so I am pulling out a sticker butterfly and a chipboard um, phrase sticker that I stuck underneath my photo. And I think the other one on the polar right here was sightseeing. And um, I pulled out uh, American Crafts Dear Lizzie alphabets that I had that I thought would go well with this. These are light blue and I wanted to put Oahu on my Polaroid to identify um, where these photos were taken. So I am going to show you how you can alter these um, creative embellishment chipboard pieces. The first thing I'm doing with this is I am painting it white. So I like to use this white chalk paint. It's um, Art Minds that I got at Michael's. It's a very thick white paint so it covers very well. Once it was dry, I picked three um, Distress ink pads and I want to do an ombre effect on here. So I'm going to do, leave it white at the top and then uh, light blue, a little bit darker blue, and then the darkest blue on the bottom. So I thought this would be um, really cool with uh, the water theme that was going on in my layout uh, since it was a, a boat parade um, that I could keep this uh, water theme going through my um, chipboard title here too. So I'm just using some sponge daubers here and getting a little bit of ink on my sponge dauber and uh, here you can see the finished piece now. So doesn't that look cool? So um, then, uh, like I said, I wanted to add island. And uh, so I pulled out some Pink Fresh Alphas that I had. Now I like these because they're small. So I can add them um, to the escape and do my island escape. And um, like thickers sometimes are just too big. I don't want a huge title. I don't want the title to overwhelm my photos on here. I want smaller alphas. And um, Pink Fresh has a couple different sets that um, really well worth buying, I think, because they different colors. This this set has four different colors, um, so um, very well worth buying. If you want uh, to expand your alphas and get some smaller ones. So I'm gluing down my Island Escape now and um, I want to do some ink dribbles in addition over the top. So I'm covering up and protecting my photos with some plastic and then just splattering on some 
um, Heidi Swap Color Shine, I think is what I'm using. And that's my layout. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please check out the My Creative Scrapbook kits. They are really awesome. Bye-bye now.